So this lady does not want to put a muzzle on her XL bully. Now ask yourself, what type of person do you have to be to not want to reassure people that they are safe around you? Okay, woman who has XL bully insists she'll fight to the end before putting muzzle on her dog. What do you mean fight to the end? Now she's gone viral, I guess. She's making a lot of uh, YouTube videos. Listen to this. Right, for everyone that's coming at me for saying that I'm not gonna muzzle my dog, this is what I mean. I am willing to have my dog muzzle trained, of course, because if, if the law comes into place, of course I'm not gonna have my dog taken away from me so I can put a muzzle on her. Why would I want my dog gone? Obviously I don't, my point is this. Why should I have to put a muzzle on my dog? Why should S Now, isn't this crazy? Why don't you want the general public to be safe is the question. You know why they're asking you to put a muzzle on the thing. Stop it. The question is, why don't you want to do it? These people understand that they have a very large, deadly, dangerous creature. Why wouldn't you want people to feel comfortable when they walk past you? What type of person wouldn't want people to feel comfortable getting close to them and their pet? That's my thing. It really reveals what type of character you have when you don't even want people to feel comfortable around you. And it just proves that you're out to make a scene. Okay, you're out to make a spectacle of your existence. Why should I have to put a muzzle on my dog? Why should I just roll over and accept what the government tells me and now the rules? See, it's all about her, her, her. It's not about you at all. It's about other people protecting other. And it's crazy. This is like a psychological examination listening to these people. Listen to how selfish and self-centered she is. She's not thinking about the victims at all. And understand, this ban is really primarily for child safety. It yeah, nothing to do with the safety of, of other dogs. So just because they're not taking our dogs off of us, we should just comply to what they says we have to do? No. What happened to standing for what you believe in? What happened to standing for... Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. These people believe in endangering everybody around them. And if you want to stand for that, then we're going to be at war. Simple as that. These uh, dirtbags, they need to be on an island all to themselves. They're telling you right now, they don't even want to exist if they're not endangering everybody around them. And they are not going to think about other people's safety even for one second. Listen to this woman. But what's right? Everyone's signing this position to not ban our dogs. Where's the fight to not have our dogs have to comply to what the government tell us to do? This is, okay, now look. I'm sorry, this is too inhumane to me. If I had one of these dogs, I would feel terrible. I've talked about this before. I'd feel terrified over the idea, the possibility that that dog could get away, I could lose control, and it maul kill somebody's kids or permanently disfigures them. For that reason, I would want the muzzle. Again, people walk with their kids all the time. I would want the muzzle on the dog just in case it goes after somebody's kid that I'm walking past and I'm not ready, I'm not braced or maybe the leash breaks or you know the dog snatches me off my feet or whatever. I got a muzzle on the dog so it can't harm the child. I would want that. What type of person do you have to be to not even want that? You have to be very, very inhumane. Okay, and that's why I say what I say about these people. It's justified. It's justified. And actually, they deserve a lot more ridicule than what I give them. I'm sorry, having a dog that is sociable and playful and does all these things to have to be put on a muzzle 24-7 could have a reaction on my dog. What no, 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 See, uh, again, me, 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 me. My dog, my dog, my dog. And ain't no other dog gonna attack this mutt. And all of the dogs that have attacked someone, 
were playful or what you call playful at some point. And really, they're not playing, they're practicing, they're killing skills. Reaction on my dog. What happens if a dog attacks my dog? She can't defend herself. Like, there's certain things. Obviously, ma'am, a poodle or Jack Russell attacks your dog, your dog will be just fine. Say, of course, I'm upset and I'm angry and I've cried all weekend about this and I will do whatever I can do to protect my dog 100%. But I'm also not going to go down without a fight. I will fight till the end to make sure that my dog... Fight to the end to make sure the people around her are always in danger. ...doesn't have to be in that position. And that's what you do as a dog parent. And people are like, oh, you know, but what about these other people that are scared? I take my dog out. 95% of people don't even know what my dog is. They're like, oh, she's lovely. What is she? Who knows what an XL bully is? The media and news are scared. Who, who cares if other people like your dog? Those nutters who say, oh, what a lovely dog. They can get their face chewed off too. They are in danger as well. And I don't care about you running into other nutters, people who like your dog. Me and my family still in danger. But of course, these people don't understand that. Scaremongering everyone. I'm not saying the attacks aren't happening, whatever else, of course, and it's disgusting and horrible if anyone's lost their life. I'm not saying that. But it is all a scaremonger tactic. Like... It's a what? These... I'm, I'm sorry, people. These people have some type of brain damage. Something is going wrong. Something is wrong with their brain. I'm sorry. I'm not saying the attacks aren't happening, whatever else, of course, and it's disgusting and horrible if anyone's lost their life. I'm not saying that. But it is all a scaremonger tactic. Like, literally. Let's not forget Rishi Student was one getting caught with his dog off a lead not too long ago. Anyway, I'm not saying I'm not going to muzzle my dog. I'm not saying I'm going to be lying to my dog taken off of me. Everyone's like, Yo, when your dog gets pulled over and dogs get taken off of you. What happens to my dog's night to do with you? But I ain't going down without a fight. I will do whatever I can to protect my dog and give her the best life possible. And if that means I have to ride out right to the end until she has some other muzzle, then I'll do that. But at the end of the day, that's that. My dog hasn't got any issues, any problems, isn't reactive. Wow, these people are absolute lunatics. And the government, the leaders, they know it. They know that our population is full of psychopaths, sociopaths. People who are completely dangerous to the general public. And they just continue to give them more and more freedom, more and more power. Y'all better be careful up there. Okay? And it's too bad they can't carry arms. Isn't guns banned in the UK? Well, this is horrible. And isn't aggressive. And that's it. Yeah, shut up. Talking about her dog is playful and not a... Shut up, man. You ain't saying nothing. We've all heard it before. Nonsense. I don't see why I should just roll over and comply with what the government says I should do. Where I'm from, we don't do... See how much, how desperate people are to endanger others? Look at how passionate they are to endanger others. Look how disconnected they are from public safety. No sympathy whatsoever for the victims or potential future victims. Her neighbors... The real question is, why is it don't you feel nervous and uncomfortable when you're walking out with this thing, knowing that it could drag you? That dog can easily drag her whole body. She up here talking crazy. That shows, that reveals how inhumane you are. Your passion to not want to muzzle it is exactly why you should be removed from the general public. It's your threat to the general public.